let us now take a simple example of coulomb's law in this example take uh, two charges one is q1 whose magnitude is 6 micro coulomb another one is q2 whose magnitude say it is 3 micro coulomb and the two charges are separated by a distance of 3 cm you can see here that i have taken charges as in the terms of micro coulomb and practically we will we see charges mainly in micro and milli coulomb of the order of micro to milli coulomb and coulomb itself is a very large unit as you have seen in earlier video so generally the practical values which we encounter are of the order micro to milli coulomb so this example is consistent with this thing now to f uh, we have to find force of interaction between the two charges and for that we will use coulomb's law and the formula for coulomb's law as you know it is k times modulus of product of the charges divided by square of the distance between the charges that is k into modulus of q1 and q2 divided by r square different form of the same coulomb's law is uh, in which we use k as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not and rest thing is same q1 q2 divided by r square now we just have to simply place the given values in the formula what values we have we have q1 as 6 micro coulomb q2 as 3 micro coulomb r as 3 cm before using values uh, placing values in the formula and in general for any physical calculations first uh, most important thing is to get all the values in a consistent unit and preferably it should be si units and in this case we have charges in si units that is coulomb and distance as uh, 3 cm so that we can write as 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meters so now we have all the three quantities in si units and we know the value of constant k in si units that is 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 and can you remember the units of k it is very important to remember units of the quantities because it will help a lot to catch the uh, catch errors in calculation earlier the, the unit for k is newton meter square coulomb minus 2 in this uh, example we will use formula first formula of the coulomb's law because uh, the k is in numerator if we will use the second formula epsilon not then uh, quantity 8.8.54 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 will appear in you know denominator and that will be difficult for calculations so we will use the first formula we will place the values f is k that is 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 and always make it a habit that place the values with their units in the formula and it is more important if you want to score good marks in subjective exams and it is also helpful to avoid errors so 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 newton meter square coulomb minus 2 then we have q1 q1 is 6 micro for micro we will write 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb into second charge q2 is 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 coulomb and in denominator we have r square r is 3 into 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter and square of the whole quantity now first thing is to simplify the units and check whether the resultant unit is say ex same as the expected unit of the quantity which we are calculating so simplifying the units you can see meter square is in numerator as well as in denominator coulomb minus 2 will be cancelled out with these two coulombs and uh, we are left only with newton and that is the expected unit for which we are ex expecting the unit of force so we have the unit we correct now simply perform the calculation 9 into 10 raised to the power 9 into 
सिक्स इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस सिक्स इंटू थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री दैट इज नाइन स्क्वायर ऑफ टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस टू इज टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस फोर एंड नाउ दिस एंड नाइन कैंसल्स आउट विद द नाइन इन डिनोमिनेटर टेन रेज टू दावर वी आर लेफ्ट विद सिक्स इंटू थ्री दैट इज एटीन इन न्यूमरेटर एंड नाउ आई विल शो यू वेरी सिंपल मैथड टू डील विद दिज पावर्स ऑफ टेन यू सिंपली राइट टेन एंड देन राइट द पावर्स एज दे अपियर टेन रेज टू दावर नाइन माइनस सिक्स माइनस सिक्स एंड द टेन रेज टू दावर माइनस फोर इन डिनोमिनेटर वैन इट कम्स टू न्यूमरेटर इट बिकम्स टेन रेज टू दावर प्लस फोर सो वी विल एड प्लस फोर न्यू टेन इट इज एटीन एंड इन टू टेन रेज टू दावर वट इज इट माइनस सिक्स माइनस सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व एंड नाइन प्लस फोर इज थर्टीन थर्टीन माइनस ट्वेल्व इज वन सो इट इज सिंपली द आंसर इज फोर्स इज वन एट्टी न्यूटन फोर्स बिटवीन दीज टू चार्जेज मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स नाउ कैन यू टेल मी अबाउट वट विल बी द डायरेक्शन दिस यू कैन टेल फ्रॉम द सिंपल आर्ग्यूमेंट बोथ आर लाइक चार्जेस दे विल रिपेल इच अदर सो फोर्स ऑन क्यू वन डू ड्यू टू क्यू टू विल बी अवे फ्रॉम क्यू टू फोर्स ऑन क्यू टू ड्यू टू क्यू वन विल बी अवे फ्रॉम क्यू वन एंड मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ फोर्स इज गिवन बाय दिस इक्वेशन विच कम्स आउट टू बी वन एट्टी न्यूटन सो फोर्स ऑन क्यू वन and q2 both has have the magnitude 180 newton and the directions as shown in this figure